Hi, welcome to WP Binding Tutorials. This is Sekar Babu. In this video, I will explain the different binding modes available in WPF. In the previous video, I explained the basic things we need to know about binding. That is, what are the key components for binding and how to bind a new UI element to another UI element and how to bind a property to UI element. See here, mode is one of the property of binding element and this mode has four options available that is one way one time one way to source two way modes let us see these things with an example so for that take a list box control with list box a list of colors add colors by using items collection let us name these colors as red blue say yellow green now okay now drag a text box control and let us bind the selected item value to this text box control text property and background property so for the text equal to binding we here we are binding an UA element to another UA element so here source is an UA element in that case we have to set the element name property to that UA element name that is list box 1 and here we have to set the path the source property to which we are binding this target so here property is selected item dot content At the same time bind the background property also to these things that is element name as list box 1 set the path to selected item dot content now let us see about mode property if you see here there are five options available that is default one time one way one way to source and two way modes in default mode is default one means if you didn't specify any mode property like this then it will take as default and this default mode is depends upon the type of UA element suppose here our target is a text box so for the text box the default mode property is one time so when coming to one time binding mode in one time binding mode the target is updated to source values whenever the source changes and that to the source is changed while the application started or data context changes so if we set the mode property to one time then this text box is binded to default value of the selected item in the list box so if you set the mode property of background to one time here now set the selected index property of the list box to any other index let us say 2 so while loading the source is selected to yellow color then the text box is populated background as yellow and text is also displayed as yellow let us run this I thought we did a mistake here here because the background is not popular uh, set to yellow color let us see the mistake I thought we missed something here while binding that is here selected we missed select C so let us run this so even though if we select the other color after binding the text box is not changed because in one time mode so target is updated to source values when application starts or data context changes let us see another mode that is one way mode now let us bind these two modes to one way at the same time set the background also one way mode now run this when our source changes then target also changes see here text box value is populated to that value and at the same time background also changes in one way mode source whenever source changes target also changes 
next when coming to other modes that is one way to source mode this one way to source mode is quite opposite to one way mode means here if the mode is one way to source then source is updated to target value if target value uh, target value is changed by user let us set these modes properties to one way to source see here the fourth element uh, that is third one that is not displaying because this one way to in this one way to source mode the source is updated to target value and here the text box values is empty here so here source value is empty now let us run this see here the, the fourth one is not displaying because while uh, initiating uh, while application starts our text box value is empty so that the source is also empty here that is source is updated to that empty value now let us write anything here and when the focus out of the text box then the third is updated here in this way one way to source mode the source is updated whenever the target is updated and the two default one means when uh, the default index that is we set here here we set the default index to 2 so that it will take throughout the mm, they throughout their life means they um, throughout the operation it take uh, default as now let us see that mode uh, two way mode in two way binding mode the source is updated whenever the target is updated there is no restrictions like that and also the targets suppose if uh, our source is binded to multiple targets then if source changes by target values then remaining target values also all other target also changed let us see hit this now run this by default it is selected to yellow let us say here write a color name red then it is binded to list box at the same time here also it text box background color also changed to that red in this way in two way mode the source is updated to target values when our target changes and also all the targets which are bind to that source also updated with the new data in this way mode properties has four well options available that is one time one way one way to source two way and here if the mode property is one way to source and two way modes there is another property called update source trigger property which defines when should the source needs to update it in the next video i will explain about the update source trigger property in wpf you can find other wpf binary tutorials in my channel thank you have a nice day